This is a very special time right now. This is Shavuot 2020. Shavuot in the, in the Bible is called the Feast of Weeks. Actually, Shavuot literally means weeks in Hebrew. Shavuot is a week. It's also the Feast of Pentecost in the New Testament. It is the feast that comes seven weeks exactly from Passover. Seven sets of seven days. It is the day that the Lord gave the Torah to the children of Israel from Mount Sinai. It is also the day when the Holy Spirit came in Acts chapter 2 and everybody started speaking in other languages. There are so many parallels between what happened on Sinai and Shavuot and what happened in Acts chapter 2. One, God, through His Spirit, because we know that God is a spirit, wrote His law on tablets of stone in the days of Moses. And in Acts chapter 2, God's Spirit, the same Spirit, wrote His law on the hearts of men, therefore fulfilling Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 31 through 33, where God said, I will make a new covenant, a new testament with the house of Israel and with Judah. I will write my Torah, not on stone, but on their hearts. The second parallel is in the days of Moses, exactly 3,000 people died. But in the book of Acts, exactly 3,000 people were saved. And three, in Exodus chapter 12, verse 38, it says there was a mixed multitude there. There was a mixed multitude that came out of Egypt with the children of Israel. That means many different nations joined them. Many different nationalities joined them. And in an ancient Jewish text, Rabbi Shemot, chapter 5, verse 9, it says that in the days of Moses, when God spoke and gave the law on Mount Sinai, everybody heard it in their own language. That's exactly what happened in Acts chapter 2. There were many nations that were gathered. The disciples started speaking in other tongues. They started speaking in other languages that they've never learned supernaturally as God got a hold of them and spoke through them. And the people that were there heard of the wonders of God in their own native language. That is amazing.